We are doing a kayak revitalization project in our community right now with the Heritage Society and um, it's bringing elders and youth together to work on um, bringing the traditional way of making the kayaks back and remembering how, how things were done um, heritage-wise and what materials they used to make the traditional kayak and since um, we're living in 2009 right now we, um, we're, we're starting to see a lot of changes to our land, to our um, environment, to our animals, to the water, to the ice, to everything that surrounds us so um, climate change is very much affecting um, our Inuit people, our territory and the world as a whole. the the I know that back town there a lot of people, elders needed this because I think they were sort of a little bit lost because there was no traditional stuff being made and this was one of them. And I could see they in full of enjoyment, the elders see that and I could see it in their face, which was nice to see the elders mm -hmm. happy like that. With climate change, well, from when I was young, I can see the weather changing from like the ice should be gone by now, but and then there's different birds that are coming up. I think today the climate change is really rapidly from the day I knew that when I was growing up, food is like less tastier than when I was growing up. The animals are starting to decrease in natural hunting areas. Noticing these types of changes in the north have been um, predominantly coming from our elders who are telling us that these changes are occurring in every aspect and with the food it's the most important issue because we need our food to sustain our lives. Country food to me is the most healthy and nutritious thing that we can be eating um, and putting into our bodies and living in the north and growing up in the north, it's a food that you acquire and you love to eat because it's something that um, is from your home. Seal, the muskox, and the ptarmigan we eat, the seagulls, even the rabbits. And there's some change in the food. And we boil caribou coming up here for the elders. Coming at 12 o'clock. Not cow, it's caribou, okay? <laughs> lot of things on the ground today because of the mining, um, the people littering, have the, the animals eat off the ground and so we eat what we catch and I think there is something to do with the what we what they eat from the ground. That's what happens to all these seagulls? What does it do to their bodies? 
<laughs> or anyway, um, a loss of food means a loss of um, our whole culture because we don't only eat the food, but we also use the food for um, different things. They had to make their own tools long ago, eh? and it was nice to see them use that old traditional drill. The most deep. That was awesome. Uh, what my p parents passed on to me was uh, the traditional knowledge from of the land, how to read the land, and right now it's like. Uh, it's different, like uh, say for the ice, the ice conditions, say, so they're changing and then there's the weather and especially the UV rays, like it's a little too much now, so too hot. We're losing our culture too. We need to keep the language going as well. Try to build the bridge between the elders and the youth. <laughs> such as caribou and muskox and fish for me is very important and it's important to all people in the north. It's really going to be important for um, all of us to work together to stop climate change because it's, it's affecting every aspect in the north and the food is the most important part of our daily lives. That other side looks better now, yeah. right? Ah. You gotta put it in the tsunami. When I was growing up, it was a lot tastier, but today I can barely eat what I eat of my people, my traditional food. Do you know how the kayak was built? Yeah. Can you tell me? Um, um, they put the um, seal skin on and um, they, they built it like that. In the culture and their knowledge to keep it as much as we could. Never know if we might have to live like this over again. Glo global warming happens. Elvis Presley from Cambridge Bay. Hey, <laughs> this kind of beauty of like Junior from Cambridge Bay. Stop greenhouse gases. <laughs> 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 <laughs>